everyone welcome back to my channel today i thought i'd do my everyday summer makeup routine my makeup routine does often change so i thought these seasonal videos would be a good idea to show you what i'm currently using give you like a little review and um, i do a lot of little videos on tiktok and instagram um but i thought kind of like a longer relaxed chatty video it'll be nice to show you what my current routine is um i've just done my skincare so my skin is very nice and glowy and prepped and ready um i'm gonna start with a primer so this is the ysl blur primer so pretty look at those like little bits of glitter in there which you don't really see when you put on your skin i'm just gonna pop it on my skin and honestly it just blurs out any like little pores imperfections it just gives me a really nice base for my makeup to sit on so i'm just rubbing that all over my skin um, and even if i'm having a no makeup day i really like to use that because as i said it just kind of minimizes those imperfections and gives your skin a really nice flawless look um so that is the primer i will leave all of these um products linked below as well um so recently i have been fit tanning a lot I don't know if you can tell i mean it is a bit patchy because i've um tried to wash it off um but yeah i've been using fit tan more recently that's meant i've been using a foundation over like a tinted beauty balm or something and um, this is the one that i love at the moment which is the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation um so this foundation is a little bit dark for my natural skin tone but it's like the perfect color for when i fake tan um so i'm not gonna lie it is really nearly at the end of the bottle i'm having to use the little stick to put it on my skin and uh, i'm definitely gonna rebuy this i might buy it in um obviously this shade for when i tan and then a lighter shade for when i don't but i'm just gonna pop little bits of that over my skin um and i don't find that i need a lot of this like just a little bit goes a long way um and yeah i just really love it like i really love the consistency and just how it makes my skin look it blends really well um so i'm just gonna blend that in using this brush from benacos i think it's the kabuki brush um and i just really love it because it's really soft but dense really good brush to blend in foundation and concealer just absolutely love how this makes my skin look obviously and match my tan better now drying equally not too matte i just think it blends really well and yeah i just think it's a really nice coverage like i'd say probably medium but you definitely could build it as i said i only needed a very small amount and blended it in so moving on to concealer my ultimate favorite which is the last imperfection by collection i get it in the shade extra fair they do have some other ones now there's like a serum one like a hydrating one but i just like the classic i'm not gonna lie um um, so i'm just gonna pop that under my eyes i'm not a professional at makeup i just enjoy to wear it so um that's how i do it i just put it kind of under my eyes mainly if i've got some like little blemishes or spots i think i've got a hair on my face um then i would put them on there too but i don't really think i've got too many spots at the moment that i want to like conceal um so i'm just gonna rub that in with the same brush because i am lazy um but to be honest if i had more time i would probably use like a beauty blender and just spend more time on it but this is just my kind of quick everyday makeup routine so i'm just going to blend that in i'm using a product from pixie which is one of my favorite makeup brands this is the on the glow bronze tinted moisture stick and it is in the shade warm glow i bloody love this this is one of my favorite products ever um i've been using it every single day since i got it and it is honestly just such a pretty product so you just swipe it on your skin like that and that's pretty much it like i do pat it in a little bit with my fingers but look how gorgeous that is and it's so easy to use gonna put a little bit on my nose and chin as well um but it's like the ultimate summer makeup product i'm definitely going to take this on my holiday when i go to spain because i feel like this just on its own is just definitely going to be enough when it's really warm um but yeah i just really love this and i just kind of pat it in and it's just giving me such a healthy looking glow it's obviously kind of like a highlighter but you do get different colors you can get some blush ones and um, you can get one that's a bit darker if you wanted to bronze but i just really like this to kind of use it as a highlight and um, just kind of on my cheeks and cheekbones so i then go in with the glossier cloud paint in the shade beam and i just add a little bit of that on my cheeks um as my blusher just need a tiny bit 
and I got this in one of my advent calendars and it's still going strong like there's still quite a lot in there so I'm really impressed with how long that's lasting and I just literally pop it on like this and then just pat it in again you know probably could use a beauty, beauty blender but I just like to do it very quick it gives me a really nice healthy looking kind of rosy tint to my cheeks just look pop the excess on my nose and chin again but yeah definitely recommend these two together I just think it honestly creates such a pretty look moving on to powder this is the revolution hd super matte setting powder it was literally three pound how good is that um and yeah I just really enjoy it obviously it just sets my makeup nicely gives my skin a little bit more of a matted look and I just pat that on with my little brush which is one of the billion dollar brushes i got this in a fab fit fun box literally ages ago i really like the brushes they're like really really soft i'm just gonna pat that all over and yeah it just makes my makeup set in place it's just started raining considering i'm doing my summer makeup routine here but i am kind of loving it i'm ready for autumn i'm such like an autumn girl at heart to be honest so um when it rains i'm like yeah <laughs> i'm really not a summer person like i do love a summer holiday when you're by the pool or at the beach and you know living your best lives there's aircon in the hotel room you're drinking fat lemon eating lays crisps that's my kind of vibe but when i'm just sweating in my house doing my housework um yeah it's not quite the same really is it moving on to brows so this is my current combination i use the refi brow sculpt um so firstly i like to just brush my brow hairs in place and then I go in with a little pencil to just kind of um fill in any gaps really my sister recently tinted them for me so I don't really need a lot of this whereas when the tint fades I feel like I do use a bit more because I've always got like this weird little gap like there um but yeah just gonna fill those in slightly and just extend that there and then I'm going to go in with a brow gel, which is actually very new for me. I've pretty much only just bought it, um, but I really like it. And to be honest, I'm not fussy with a brow gel as long as it does the job. Um, this is the collection Vitamin Fix Brow Gel. Um, I love the fact that it was in an orange summery packaging. Obviously love a the theme. Um, I don't know why it says vitamin C, but like I said, as long as it does the job. And I'm just going to brush the hairs into place like that it doesn't feel like really strong hold on my brows but i'm not too bothered like i'm not exactly wanting like a soap brow effect um but yeah so that is my eyebrows done uh moving on to my eyes i've recently started using a little bit of eyeshadow again i feel like at the minute eyeshadow is really not that popular like whereas like years ago i used to like do full-on dramatic eyeshadow all the time like bright colors cut creases glitter eyeliner the lot and now like like less is more i suppose and that's kind of the fashion um but i'm enjoying using my little zoeva palette which i got years ago and i just absolutely love these colors it makes me feel nostalgic when i use things that i used to use years ago um but i just literally use a little bit of this brown kind of in the crease and that's pretty much it for me um, with the eyeshadow. Just think it adds to the makeup look a little bit and makes my eyes pop. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that on the other eyelid. So I'm gonna curl my lashes with this little lash curler, which is a skinny dip one, I think, um, which I got from TK Maxx. Oh God, I think I got it too close to my eyelid there. <laughs> I definitely should be looking in a mirror for this. But I just like to curl them a little bit. I'm thinking of getting either eyelash extensions or getting like a tint and lift because I think it'd give me a confident boost. Like I feel so much better in myself when I wear fake lashes, but I don't know. So if anybody's got any tips or recommendations, because I don't know which way to go. Like I feel like I really like the look of fake lashes, but I don't know if a lift and tint would be better for my lashes and less money in the long run. Um, so do let me know if anyone's tried those. But I'm just now adding some mascara. This is the YSL Lash Clash in brown. I love brown mascara. I used to use brown mascara all the time. And yeah, I'm just really here for it. If I was going out, out, I might wear black. 
or if I was wearing kind of like a coloured eyeshadow but I think with the more kind of neutral makeup look like the clean girl aesthetic like soft makeup I just think brown is very flattering I think because I've got green eyes I think it complements my eye colour as well yeah, nearly done um, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter this is their new setting spray which is the ca Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water one it smells insane like the ultimate summer scent and just helps obviously my makeup to stay in place all day so I'm just going to spritz that all over Please, I'm going to go in with a lip gloss. I much prefer lip gloss than a lipstick or any other kind of lip product at the moment. I just really like the glossy look. I do want to get a nice um, lip liner though to line my lips before glossing. So again, if you've got any recommendations, do let me know. Um, this is the P. Louise Stay Shining Lip Gloss. I've got this one in the scent Strawberry, which smells amazing. I've also got the little Pina Colada one there. Um, honestly, how pretty are these products? I would definitely recommend checking them out. I got them in sets, so I got the little like lip conditioners with them as well. Um, but yeah, I just love these and they smell amazing. So that is my makeup done. As I said, this is my everyday makeup routine. It's, you know, the products that I'm reaching for every single day. It took me about 20 minutes filming this video, but when I'm not filming, it would take me less than 10 minutes. Like, it's a really quick makeup look. Happy with the finished look. I am doing my summer morning and evening skincare routines as well, so they will be on my channel soon, um, if that's your kind of thing. And I will see you in my next video.